Hi, Cameron here from Capital Machinery. We're just going to go through the setup and operation of the Caro Combined Rebar Cutter and Bender. This machine has a digital controller on it. We'll go through the setup of the controller as well. The first thing you need to do after unpackaging the machine is to connect the power supply. An electrician must connect the power supply and make sure the phasing is in the correct rotation. You can check the rotation by looking at the rotation direction switch and the rotation of the table. If the rotation is incorrect, an electrician must make a wiring change to change the phasing for the supply of the machine. Once the power supply is connected and the phasing is correct, you can fit the guarding to the machine. Next, fit the foot pedal. Then you're ready to set up the tooling, including the pins and the bushes. Depending on your preference, you can set up the tooling to work from the left or the right of the machine. When initially setting up the machine, it is important to do a dry run, just in case the table rotates in the wrong direction and it can crash into the squaring arm here and cause damage. So we'll remove the outside bush here. That way the table can rotate and we can test some programs first before we get started. This machine can be operated in a manual and an automatic mode. For manual operation, simply turn the switch to the manual program mode Place the bending pin at the desired location, depending on the bending angle. So around here is approximately 90 degrees, and this is a, a greater angle here the further you place it around. The table will rotate to the limit switch and then return back to the home position here. All right, we'll do a dry run just to see what happens. So you can either use the start button here on the controller, the buttons on the operator panel on the automatic digital controller, or with the foot pedal. There is two buttons. There is the start button, which makes the machine rotate. And then the return to start button, which retracts the machine or brings it back to the home position. That was a successful dry run. You can see that the machine rotated without fouling with any of the other tooling and retracted correctly. So now you can proceed further. Place the external bending bush into position. Place your bar into the machine. Close the guard and start the bend. So if you need to adjust the angle slightly, you can move the pin. Anti-clockwise will decrease the bending angle. Clockwise will decrease the bending angle. If you're bending your bars to one angle, this can be a quick and simple way to set up the machine. So that was a manual setup and operation. Now I'll take you through the automatic setup using the digital angle controller. Switch the selector switch to the automatic mode. I'll go through the different setup here. You've got spring back. Now spring back is the amount of angle set for the spring back of the material. It's like a calibration factor. You've got set, that's the angle set. You've got program, so you can select a different program number. And then within the program, you've got phase. So the phase are like sub-steps in the program where you can bend different angles, like 90 or 180, and it will step through both functions in that program. And then you've got distance, which is the actual bending angle. So you go through to setup to set up a program. And you can select what program number. So we'll just start with program one. So you can go here. So you've got the first bending angle or step in this program is 90 and then it will do 180 and then you can add different bending angles depending on how many different steps you need to complete your part that you're bending. Now the spring back can be edited here so if you for instance bend the bar and, and it's at 90 and it's under bent say by 10 degrees you can add a compensation factor in here you can add 10 degrees enter it in and then 
on that step, it will actually bend to 100 degrees or compensate for the underbending of the material. And you can add that for each step depending on the compensation required. Once you finish setting up your program and your phases, which are the sub programs or different bending angles, save and exit and it will take you back to the home screen. If you require further instructions, the manual is supplied with the machine. Otherwise, you can go to our website, capitalmachinery.com.au, the resources section, and download the manual from there. As this is a combined cutting and bending machine, I'll quickly take you through the cutting operation. The first thing you need to do for safety is remove the bending bush from the machine. The squaring arm and the bending angle pin. Switch the machine to manual. Next, relocate the foot pedal to the cutting station. Okay, now we're ready to cut. So open the safety guard, place the bar into the machine and adjust the rear support to the thickness of the bar. This stops the bar from deflecting while the blades are shearing the bar. Close the guard, make sure the top guard is closed and the machine is ready, then commence cutting by pressing down the foot pedal. So we've covered the setup and the basic operator training. For more complex bending operations, ideally the operator would have had some experience within the industry. If you have more questions, please refer to the manual or contact us for more information.